Hey everyone, today I'm diving into three of the best VPNs you can get right now, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. So if you're trying to figure out which VPN to pick, these are the ones I always recommend. I've tested dozens of VPNs for what they can do, from streaming shows to gaming online to torrenting files, and these three consistently stand out for their serious speed, security, and reliability. They let you stream and torrent without any limits, but each one brings something unique to the table, and I'll break it all down to help you choose the VPN that fits your needs perfectly. So let's start with what makes these VPNs so great together. For one, they're all fantastic for streaming. Whether you want to unlock Netflix libraries from the US, UK, or Japan, or dive into Hulu, Netflix, or Amazon Prime Video, these are the only VPNs I trust. Many other VPNs get blocked by streaming services, but I've used ExpressVPN to watch Friends on the UK Netflix library while I'm located in the US where Friends is not available. And it worked like a charm, same thing with Nord and Surfshark. And in instances when they don't work right away, all I had to do was disconnect from the VPN and connect to the same server or a nearby server from the same country, effectively refreshing the IP address that's being used, and that was it. They just work every time. And so they're also perfect for torrenting. You can download files securely without worrying about bandwidth caps, which is a big benefit if you're sharing large files or grabbing torrents. Plus, they keep your activity private, so your ISP can't snoop on what you're doing. And just a quick note, if you want to check out any of these VPNs, be sure and check the links in the description. I've included full reviews that go deep into each one, plus the best coupons or discount codes I could find to help you get the best deal possible. Now security is where these three really shine. They all have strict no logs policies, meaning they don't track what you do online. These policies have been verified by independent audits from firms like Deloitte, PwC, and KPMG, so you know you can trust them. They also use RAM only servers, which is a huge plus because it means no data can be stored, even if someone tried to access it. This is critical if you're in a country like China or Turkey, where privacy is a big deal. And all three come with a kill switch, which cuts your internet if the VPN drops unexpectedly, keeping your data safe from your ISP or government. I've relied on this when torrenting on public Wi-Fi, and it's a lifesaver. You also get split tunneling, letting you choose which apps use the VPN and which don't. For example, you might route Netflix through a US server, but keep your banking app on your local network. It's not something every beginner needs, but it's a really nice feature when you start using it. Additionally, they support modern protocols such as WireGuard, Lightway, and Nordlynx, which enhance speeds and conserve battery life on your phone or laptop. So now let's talk about what sets each VPN apart, because that's where you'll decide which one's for you. Starting with ExpressVPN, this is my top pick if you want a VPN that's super reliable, easy to use, and privacy focused. Its no logs policy was proven in 2017 when Turkish authorities seized a server during an investigation but found no user data, thanks to its RAM-based servers that wipe clean on reboot. That's a big deal, especially if you're in a restrictive region or just want peace of mind. And ExpressVPN is lightning fast, connecting to servers in under a second, compared to four to six seconds for most VPNs. I've streamed 4K movies on Netflix Japan from Europe with no buffering, and it's been flawless. It's also incredibly user-friendly. Just pick a server, hit connect, and you're set. You can set it to lightweight UDP for the fastest speeds or leave it on automatic and it'll handle the rest. While it has fewer features than NordVPN or Surfshark, it nails the essentials like advanced protection, which blocks ads, trackers, and malicious sites. You can even use it to block adult content for basic parental control. It also offers pass keys for secure logins and a password manager that works across all your devices. With over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, it's a great option for streaming, gaming, or staying private online. And then there's NordVPN, which gives you the best bang for your buck. It's one of the fastest VPNs out there, sometimes even edging out ExpressVPN with speed drops as low as 8 to 25% using its Nordlynx protocol. I've gamed on servers in Asia with super low ping, perfect for titles like Valorant. It's got the biggest server network with over 7,900 servers in 165 countries, so you can unlock more content than with ExpressVPN's 105 or Surfshark's 100 countries. For instance, I've used NordVPN to watch The Great British Bake Off on BBC iPlayer from the US, and it was smooth sailing. But basically, NordVPN's strength is its features. Beyond the kill switch and split tunneling, it has an app kill switch that closes specific apps if the VPN drops, so your privacy stays intact. Threat protection blocks ads, trackers, and malware, acting like a mini anti-virus. I found it super handy when browsing 
10,000 questionable sites. MeshNet lets you share files securely or set up LAN gaming with friends worldwide, which is pretty cool for games like Minecraft. You also get specialty servers like DoubleVPN for extra encryption, OnionOver VPN for Tor users, and peer-to-peer -peer optimized servers for torrenting. Obfuscated servers help in places like China, and you can set custom DNS easily. Plus, NordVPN offers dark web monitor to check for data leaks and auto connect rules for public Wi-Fi. It supports up to 10 simultaneous connections, making it a really nice choice if you want a ton of features at a solid price. And finally, Surfshark is the best budget-friendly VPN. It's not quite as fast as NordVPN or ExpressVPN, but it still beats most competitors, with speed drops around 15 to 30% in my tests. I've streamed The Mandalorian on Disney Plus from Australia, and it worked great. It's just as secure with an audited no logs policy and RAM only servers, and it offers more features than ExpressVPN. For example, it has static IP servers for consistent addresses, which help with banking apps or avoiding CAPTCHAs. Dynamic multi-hop routes your connection through two servers for double security, and you can get a dedicated IP for sensitive tasks like online banking. Surfshark's alert feature keeps you up to date regarding any data leaks, and its alternative ID generator protects your personal info. And the best part, it allows unlimited simultaneous connections with one subscription, unlike NordVPN's 10 or ExpressVPN's 8, so you can share it with everyone you know. With over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, it's a great pick if you want premium features on a budget. And again, to wrap it up, ExpressVPN is the best for reliability, privacy, and ease of use. NordVPN is the fastest and most feature-packed, offering incredible value. And Surfshark is the cheapest, with unlimited connections and solid performance. And one quick tip, avoid monthly plans if you plan to use a VPN long-term. Longer plans, like one or two years, save you more, and all three come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you change your mind, just contact their live chat support for a refund. So, hopefully you found this guide helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions or want to share which VPN you chose, just drop them in the comments below, as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.